Ooh, this was a good one. Hey guys, welcome back to Fly By Night Reviews. I'm your host, Karen. I'm Dom. Today, me and Dom are reviewing episode six of Ahsoka. This one is called Far, Far Away. What do you think? I enjoyed it. Uh, the opening scene with uh, Hu Yang and Ahsoka did my nerdy heart good. <laughs> yes, I know you're kind of the, the, the guy who does the voice of Hu Yang is yeah. like... David Tennant, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed this episode. It's like... Like I said before, I'm really digging Filoni and his filming style. Um, I just it's not a lot of not a lot of action in this right. episode, but lots of world building, lots of like good storytelling, um, and you find out there's surprisingly a lot of stuff in this episode. Yes, um, I, I don't know. I don't know how long it was. It was I know it was longer than thirty minutes, but yeah, it was about. 45 minutes, I think. Yeah, but it, it felt like a good length. It felt like you got a lot in mm -hmm. it, and I was very satisfied with it. I think I was only checking once to make sure. It's like, okay, we're not going to stop pretty soon, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, wait, this is going on for too long. I think they're going to end it right now, and then it's like never happened, and then all of a sudden yeah. it ended perfectly, and I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. We're going to discuss spoilers in this, so if you haven't seen the episode, I advise you to go see it and check it out and come back and let us know what you think. But, um, yeah, this, uh... Thrawn. Thrawn is here, finally. Blue Elon Musk. <laughs> you kind of you spoiled a little bit last night when you sent me a message with the GIF, and I was like... I thought Wait, you were watching at that time, that's oh, why. Oh, <laughs> no, but, uh... But, yeah, um, I'm not, like, you know, 100% familiar with Thrawn, but I know mm -hmm. who he is. I right. know, like, his kind of... His place in the universe. Right. Um... I still think it's pretty cool that they got the guy who did his voice in Rebels to play him in. Live yeah, action. that's what I that's what I read because I was like at first I was a little like you know seeing him uh -huh. in in person or in like you know human form or whatever. Right. Um, I was a little like oh wow he looks kind of different like even though I've seen the trailers and right. all that stuff but I think since he is the voice right I think that's that was a good choice that they they did you know. Um, He's very intimidating. Oh, like yeah, yeah. he kind of had that sort of persona. Like and for, he's important. Yeah, yeah, in the like the just like because I've seen obviously I've seen Rebels, and so I know what, what he's like in there. And this he comes off a little less hinged. Like he's like a little unhinged in the Rebels. No, in this. Oh, okay. He he's, in Rebels. He's a little more put together. But really, okay. It just like there's like this. It's not, like, overtly unhinged. It's just, like, there's something a little off about him, which I think the 10, uh, ten years or whatever that he's been lost in the... Yeah, I think I think that's kind of a good good way to sort of, like, evolve the characters oh, yeah. from the show Definitely. because people will complain, oh, you know, the same complaint with, with Luke and, oh, he why is he bitter? But it's been, like, 30 years, you know? Yeah. So a lot can happen in 10 years, and I think... Filoni's kind of using that as a as a tool to sort of like you know right. flesh him out more and like <laughs> nobody stays the same in ten years. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but we finally get to see Thrawn, and this episode's a lot more focused on like Sabine and Balin and Shin, who you kind of you hear more about Balin, his right. his reasoning behind everything, and it was very interesting because it's like he's you can tell he's kind of a conflicted kind of right, you know. Slight, little bit, tiny bit more of his background. He was a general in the Clone Wars and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and it was sort of cool how he's, he's kind of leaking, or he's he's inserting a little bit of the prequels in there, but it's not uh -huh. overdone. Um, and you kind of really feel for his character. Again, I'm like super sad that Ray Stevenson passed away because I thought I mean I think he's awesome. And oh yeah, he should think that yeah, he has not had a bad scene in this. Seriously. Um, <laughs> And even Shin kind of has some speaking parts, and you know she's still kind of mysterious, which I'm which I'm digging because Star yeah. Wars characters always kind of I think are better when they're a little bit more mysterious, and especially villains. That's exactly why we still haven't gotten a species name for Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, so Sabine is basically kind of you know they had an agreement, you know we're we're gonna help you find our let you, you find yeah. yeah let you find Ezra, so they let her go. And you think, oh, that's a little bit too easy, but of course, 
Thrawn is like, oh, no, I, I want you to, like, you know, follow her to Balin and... Kill you know, them both, yeah. Yeah, like, basically kill them, so... Um, but... Sabine kind of goes on a on a little adventure on this like kind of wolf like creature and interesting fact that wolf creature there's some concept art that was in the Rise of Skywalker because I have oh, a book okay and I believe that was going to be Coruscant these wolf like creatures were kind of roaming Coruscant oh. and there was a scene with Kylo Ren right you know and now I mean that was a proposed uh, right you know scene but oh well, yeah um, I saw something where. Uh... The, the look of the night the night sisters they actually were based off of some concept art for Sith from Phantom um, Menace. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they just... yeah. <laughs> I think I think they just kind of like at Lucasfilm they're just like what like we gotta get some ideas. Right. But I like that it was sort of cool like you know showing us stuff that we probably wouldn't have ever seen. Mm-hmm. Um, but she kind of she stumbles over these like rock creatures that. They look almost like Ninja Turtles, but they're like <laughs> crab <people>. crabs. <laughs> From <laughs> like, South Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crab people. Crab people. <laughs> but that was that was kind of cutesy. But yeah. I, and it was sort of, I think it Especially was kind of... the little baby one in the hammock. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of like the most cutesy thing that we've gotten this season, besides a little cat creature in the, in the first couple oh, episodes. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, so we finally... Um, also meet Ezra, who I, again, I've seen only a few episodes of Clone Wars. I didn't know he had a beard. I, I don't know if the last time we see him in Clone Wars, he has a beard or... No, Ezra is still a kid in the Rebels. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so, looks, kind of looks like Ezra. I mean, looks like the, the it Actually, he looks very similar to a, uh, picture that they show in the, of his father. So he looks kind of like... Ah, uh, okay. Like, so it kind of... Yeah made it sort of look mm-hmm. like a, yeah but uh but yeah you know they kind of have a little reunion there and um you know of course Ezra doesn't know like how she got there why she's there or anything has, that's happened since he yeah yeah so it'll be interesting the next episode to kind of like you know hear Sabine basically say hey like <laughs> they basically you know Thrawn's back and all this other stuff so right. um yeah again great episode really looking forward to next week um I'm sad that it's only, like, two more episodes and that's yeah. it. <laughs> but hopefully this is, like, leading into a movie, which I think will be great. But, um... Yes, definitely. But, yeah. <laughs> let us know what you think. Well, that's it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Let us know what you think of episode six of Ahsoka. Is there anything you're hoping to see come true on this? Yeah, let us know in the comments. And on that note, we will catch you next time. Peace.